You jump on that car, and I'm gonna kick your butt. Trying to get somewhere a little more stable. Is that stable enough for you? Big dum dum. Okay, it's been a while since we've done a video. Oh, well, haven't had much going on. But uh, as you can see, we got something new here. We'll talk about here in just a second. Um, haven't really felt like making videos because there hasn't been a whole lot new going on. Now I feel like we have something to talk about. So we're gonna do a beer of the weekend and show you our new awesome ride. Okay, let's talk about the ride first. So we have Black Tragic 2.0 over here. It's on 32 inch tires, which aren't super big by today's standards. But still, this is not the ultimate commuter vehicle um, it's got a little wobble and it's not that reliable with the electronics is that a pileated woodpecker blue anyways and it's only getting like 14 miles to the gallon or even less so I had to get something more reliable smoother road trip worthy and also this does not have good AC something's wrong with the AC I'm sure we could get it fixed but I didn't want to put a bunch of money into something that I felt was unreliable we're gonna keep it for work purposes going to Lowe's hauling a trailer to go to Lowe's to get lumber etc etc you know out here country working um, so what did we get Fancy, fancy. 2003 Lincoln Town Car with 115,000 miles. Um, it's not the greatest gas mileage, but it's better than this. I'm getting about anywhere between 20 and 22 miles per gallon. And it rides so much smoother, and it has AC. It is a comfortable, comfortable ride to work. So we've got to come up with a name for it. I've come up with a name for it. So Stephanie calls it a grandpa car. I think it looks a lot better. I'll try to show pictures of when we bought it with the original rims and tires, of course. Of course, we updated the rims and tires. Rims and tires are 18 inch Avid 1 AV6s in uh, hyper black. Um, so we did that, got the new rims. I don't tell Stephanie this. I did lower it a little bit. Uh, it was pretty much free to lower. I just had to buy a uh, spring compressor from Harbor Freight. I didn't lower it much, maybe an inch. The tires that are on it are low profile, so that lowered it about an inch, and then I lowered it about an inch more. So it's still higher than her van is. 
So don't tell her that. Okay? She said, if you get that, do not lower it. You're not going to lower anything. You're not going to lift anything. That's what she told me. So don't tell her we did that. All right? So the name of this. So she calls a grandpa car. Other people call this a pimp car. You know, you might see a pimp driving one of these cars. So we're going to stick with the pimp. I'm a don't hate the player, hate the game. So this car is going to be called Luxahoma Lover. Because I'm a lover. I'm not a hater. I'm not a fighter. I'm a lover. Okay? So that's what we got going on. Brand new whip. I love it. Let's get on to beer of the weekend. Quit yapping. Okay? This is probably going to be quick. You know my reviews. They're not very uh, informative. It's essentially, do I like the beer or do I not like the beer? So what we have here is a by Crosstown Brewing Company. I'm sure I've done a review on them before. Whether it was good or not, I don't know. Whether this beer will be good or not, I don't know. It's got a very colorful label on the front, which I will show you here shortly. That's what really caught my eye. I like colorful, unique labels on these. So, Crosstown Brewing Company, which is out of Memphis. Crosstown, Memphis. Okay. Forger Honey Rye Ale. It's got bees on it. Forger Honey Rye Ale. No info on the can that I can see. Didn't really find any info on the website. 5.6% alcohol. Uh, so I have no idea. We're going to try it out. Let me show you the label first. Very colorful label. Got some bees on there. That is a wild label. Alright. Let's get into it. Oh, if I don't fall out of the chair. So it's pretty much spring here. Got the birds chirping. It's fixing to be mowing season. Uh, talking about bees. So my front yard has a lot of weeds, weed flowers. I haven't mowed it yet. I want to leave those weed flowers out as long as I can so the bees and the butterflies and all that have a chance to do their pollinating thing. Once the grass starts growing up and it gets unruly, I'll have to mow it, but we'll leave it like that for the time being. Let's see what this thing smells like. Oh, that smells pretty good. I want to say, you know how this thing goes. I want to say it almost smells like honey Cheerios. With maybe just a hint of beer smell. Smell-wise, it smells pretty good. Honey Cheerios. That's what it's making me think of. Let's go for the taste. That's pretty doggone good. I am not disappointed. So yes, I'm definitely catching honey. As I said, it's slightly honey Cheerios. Smooth, not really hoppy at all, not bitter. Doesn't taste IPA-ish. This is a very smooth beer, not harsh in any element. I like it. For you non-beer drinkers, this may be a first one to pick up if you don't like that harsh, hoppy taste.
very smooth. I could have these again. So I'm going to say, I don't, I know, I'm, I'm sure I've done a review on Crosstown Brewing before. Whether it was good or bad, I don't remember. But this one is a good one. Yes. So, for the vote, let's go ahead and do the vote on this. I'm going to go ahead and give this either a 9, definitely a 9, possibly a 10, depending on the day. 9 out of 10, possibly 10 out of 10. Good job, Crosstown Brewing Company. I like it. nice bees. We've seen bees out here on the property already. They've been out here doing their thing. So this fits with spring nicely. Blue cheese, come here. You want to tell the people goodbye? What do you think about the smell? Okay, you're not interested. He likes to chase bees, even bite them sometimes. And he's got stung on the face before possibly even in the mouth because he's a big dummy. I'm not going to do that. Thanks for watching. Thanks for checking out the new stinking Lincoln. Luxahoma lover. I need a license plate or something that says Luxahoma lover. So I can display my grandpa car proudly. Stephanie and the kids just can't appreciate luxury vehicles. That's all right.